company's performance was Tomasic's order of the day, but another hot issue that cropped up at today's media conference was an update on Tomasic's CEO succession plan in light of Chip Goodyear's abrupt resignation a few months ago. Mr. Charles Chip Goodyear called it quits about five months after it was announced that he would take over from Ms. Ho Ching in October. The official reason Tomasic cited in July was unresolved strategic differences. We place a lot of emphasis on governance, uh, particularly board governance. One of the critical uh, responsibilities, in fact we think is the most critical responsibility of any board, is to look at CEO renewal and succession. So since early 2005, we have had an annual exercise where every year we'll look at potential candidates for CEO inside and outside Tomasic. That process continues. Is there a time frame, Madam Ho Cheng? We do this every year since 2005. And with the new CEO, if the new CEO comes in, it will continue every year since because this is part and parcel of a board responsibility. We don't look at CEO succession as a, as a one-time exercise to look for one successor at one time period. I think it's a responsibility of the board to look at it every year. Do you already have a short list? of who could be the next CEO of the Master Holdings. We have it since 2005. After what happened with Chip Goodyear, there's any possibility whatsoever that a foreigner would be willing to come to Tomasek to become CEO. Your, good, your guess is as good as mine. Also addressing questions from the media was Tomasek's executive director, Mr. Simon Israel, who shed light on the extent of Mr. Goodyear's involvement during his four months with the company. I think uh, when Chip came on board as part of his integration into Tomasek, he became involved in a number of initiatives that were ongoing initiatives and played a leadership role in bringing those forward until the time that he, uh, he left us. We can, some of those initiatives have since been completed and others continue amongst the senior leadership and a work in progress. Were there any that he initiated that you could uh, tell us about for it to continue today? I think there were, broad, uh, there were broad initiatives around organization, around processes, um, how we make decisions. There are many different facets. To watch the full Q&A session, check out Razor TV's News Plus. <laughs>